Hey everyone, back again, and this is part two out of what will most likely be three or four parts, depending on how fast I answer these things. Anyway, next uh, cluster of questions comes from 605506. Have you ever been so pissed off or mad or frustrated at a video game that you accidentally or purposely broke something? I've never broken anything. Um, at period, I've never broken anything. I have gotten aggravated at a few video games and like tossed the controller or just slammed it on the ground. Uh, a few examples. Um, Mega Man games, especially uh, one particular one when I couldn't get past a certain stage in Wily's Castle without keeping on getting killed. I threw the PS2 controller. I have the Anniversary Collection <coughs> and the X Collection, which I still got to get back. <laughs> um, and I just like I just took my PS2 controller by the cord and just lassoed it all over the place. I was so mad at that game sometimes. And uh, Guitar Hero, I've been aggravated at it a few times too. Like, whenever I either my controller is faulting out on me or I'm not doing as good as I usually do, I just, like, slam it on the ground. <clears throat> but I've never actually broken anything. I have punched my wall a few times, but not hard enough to, you know, make a hole or anything noticeable like that. <clears throat> uh, da -da 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 -da. What are your thoughts on the new Pokemon games? Well, um, as far as the handhelds go, I still do like them. I mean, I I, ha I have Diamond, so and I and I love Diamond to death. Oh my God, I'm just I haven't played it in a while, but I do like it. <clears throat> I kind of go back and forth between Pokemon games and Yu-Gi-Oh games. Right now, I'm on Yu-Gi-Oh, like you've seen on my channel. <clears throat> um, uh, other Pokemon games. Um, I I mean I mean uh, as far as handhelds go, I know they have Platinum coming out soon, and. Uh, Battle Revolution I've heard is okay. I may I may get it when I get a Wii. Not too sure, but uh, they're still they're still going good. I think. I mean, to some people the concept might be getting old, but really, I mean, <laughs> there is no other way to do Pokemon games. It's battling that's what you do. Now I I would I would personally like to see in the future anyone do this if Nintendo would make. A, a 3D remake of one of the handheld Pokemon games. Like, take Pokemon Red, make it 3D, but have all the enemies and gym leaders and Elite Four members have the same levels, but it'd just be in 3D, so it just look, you know, modern. I mean, I still have the classic ones. I'd still play it, too, but I'm just saying it'd be pretty cool to have make a 3D remake of one of the classic handhelds. Uh, what are your thoughts on the metalcore genre? Oh, music. Um... I do like metalcore, uh, most of it. Uh, a few bands, uh, in my opinion, like Slipknot, I think. I mean, they're they're overrated, I think. There are a couple songs by them I like, but I mean, even 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 their most popular song, uh, what was it, Pulse of the Maggots? I don't even like that song that much. I like Before I Forget and some other song I heard once, but I forgot the name of it. it had the word Psycho in it, but a lot of their songs probably the word Psycho in it, and. If they would get rid of the masks, that would—I mean—that that's one reason a lot of people don't like them. I know they want to be unique and everything, but that looks a little too suggestive, uh, kind of bondagey, if you know what I mean. And I am surprised that uh, Corey Taylor, the lead singer, is also the lead singer for Stone Sour. And when I first found that out, I was like, the lead singer for Slipknot has a voice or a singing voice like that. And I was just like, well, because I, I will admit, I love Stone Sour. I mean, Corey Taylor's an amazing vocalist, I will say that. Uh, but um, I like a lot of metalcore bands. I, <clears throat> I love Avenged Sevenfold. I love, um, what are their names? Um, Kill Switch Engage. Even though their cover of Holy Diver by Dio was just disgracefully ugh, terrible. That's the only song by them I don't like. Now, the song like My Curse, I love that song. And yes, I did first get it from Guitar Hero 3, but sue me. I got it from somewhere. I'm still listening to it. Um, and a little fun fact here. Another metalcore band I love is All That Remains. And the lead singer for All That Remains tried out to be the lead singer of uh, Killswitch Engage, but Howard Jones beat him and uh, took his place instead. <clears throat> so, there's my thoughts. Uh, Flare Frost X1. Uh, he remarks, questions are so fun. One, what is your favorite Pokemon, no legendaries? Well, um, I'll pick one from each generation. From the Kanto generation, meaning red, blue, and yellow, my favorite was Articuno. Um, the uh, Johto era, gold, silver, and crystal, my favorite was uh, Typhlosion. 
Actually, it was a tie between him and Tyranitar. <clears throat> um, the Hoenn games, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, my favorite. Who's my favorite there? I think it may have been Swampert, I think. He was definitely one of them. And the uh, Sinnoh games, Diamond and Pearl, Lucario. And yeah, if people say he's overrated, well, I don't think he is, so there. Have you ever played Sparkster slash Rocket Knight Adventures? If so, do you think a sequel should be made? I have not played or even heard of that series, so I have no comment for that, sorry. And three, finally, are we friends? <laughs> the third is just filler, lol. Yeah, we're friends. You're a cool guy, Flare Frost. Well, those are fun. Next come from my good buddy Anime Drum Dude. What is the worst cover you've ever heard? Remixes do not count. Oh, I have the perfect answer for this one. Um, those of you who have or have played or have heard of Rock Band 2 probably have heard of the song Visions by this black metal band that has a 26-year-old female as a lead singer called Abnormality. The song is called Visions. Well, that same band did a cover, and I have no idea what prompted them to do this. They made a cover of Eric Clapton's Cocaine. They, co a black metal band, covered a Clapton song. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I think I think you guys are perfectly capable of doing the math on that one. Uh, have you ever heard of the guitarist Paul Gilbert or Gilbert Gilbert, if it's pronounced any of those ways? Um, his name does kind of ring a bell, but I don't really know him all that well. But I, I I have heard of him. I know. What is your opinion on the anime Higurashi no Naku Koro Ni? Um, I like it. I haven't really seen. I've only seen a few episodes. Um, but uh, my friend Lee Zodiac is a huge fan of it, and he's a well, I don't know about huge, but he does like it. Um, and he even uses scenes from some of the, some of the YouTube poops he makes. Uh, so another one from him. Just a quick question, not for the Q&A. Why is Chris Crocker leave Britney alone a related video to this one? He says this isn't for the Q&A. Well, I'll make it for it anyway. I have no idea. None of the tags in my video are in any of the tags in that video. My title is nothing like his. I don't know. Maybe YouTube wants... Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, next questions come from Shadow Sega seventy five. What is the worst game you've ever played? Well, I can't say Superman sixty four or Carmageddon sixty four or E T or anything like that because I haven't played those games. Worst game I've ever played. It was oh whoa what was this game called? It was some sort of weird hero villain game like a like a Mortal Kombat style 2D fighting game for the Super Nintendo it had it was a Spider-Man game and it had like a lot of its villains I have to look it up it was a pretty cool looking nostalgic little game but the the controls were fucking awful for that game I do kind of remember I remember how it was like impossible for me to beat anyone in that game because the controls were so fucked up uh two what is your favorite handheld uh favorite handheld uh I guess at this moment it would be this, the Nintendo DS. I mean, you can play two different types of games on it, DS games and GBA games. Got a cool little stylus too. I'm a stylus guy. So uh, DS or DS Lite, really. Yeah, three. What's your opinion on Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe? I, uh, I don't care for it. I mean, people have said this already. A teen-rated Mortal Kombat game and one where there's no fatalities. No, that's that's not Mortal Kombat. That's like a kiddie version of Mortal Kombat. So, uh, no. That is definitely not worth it. And I am sure as hell not getting it. So, there you go. And, uh, I do think that is the close of part two. Part three will be up soon. Metroid signing off again.